Welcome everyone. Today I am going to show you how to make a no-bake icebox creamy delicious lemon dessert. We're not baking anything in this recipe. We're going to start off with two boxes of lemon pudding. This is the instant variety. You want to empty those into a large bowl. Now these are 3.4 ounces each. All right. You know if it's lemon, springtime's coming, lots of different things to make this for. You can even do it for Valentine's Day. Easter's coming up. All right, this is our second package. We're gonna add in three cups of milk. Now you wanna make sure that it's very cold. Now you can use a wire whisk or you can use your electric hand mixer, which I'm gonna do right here. We're gonna beat this until it's nice and smooth and it has a pudding consistency. Now, if you're interested, this recipe is in my volume two cookbook, Catherine's Plates Making Home Cooking Easy, and it's on page 93. All right, we've got the pudding consistency. Let me show you what we're gonna do next. All right, hang on to your electric hand mixer or your whisk. We're gonna need it later in the recipe. Now, if you have somebody that loves lemon pudding, hey. <laughs> like my husband, Thomas. I'll take those off your hands for you. He'll clean those up for me. Sure. No problem. Not a problem. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do is add in eight ounces of some Cool Whip, or you can make your own whip topping. But we consider this a really easy recipe. If you like Cool Whip, go ahead and use it. Make sure you thaw it out. Now, you know, Cool Whip can be found in your frozen section of your store. I must have gotten the extra creamy. Let's see. Is that the extra creamy? Yep. Mm. Yep, that happened. My finger. <laughs> I'm going to fold in the Cool Whip <laughs> into my pudding. And then you want to make sure that it's nice and smooth. And there's no streaks from the pudding in the Cool Whip there. So just keep folding. Pull down from the bottom, bring up, and fold it right in. Our dessert is going to be made in a 9 by 13 baking dish. And we're going to be using graham crackers. I'm using the whole graham crackers. That way we can layer this dessert. All right. I know they come in crumbs, but you don't want that. All right, let's open these up. We're gonna put one layer on the bottom. All right, this sleeve was broken, so I'm just gonna layer them in here. It doesn't matter if they're whole or in pieces like this right here. We got a full layer down there. We're gonna take our pudding Cool Whip mixture here. We're gonna put half of it on top of the graham crackers and then spread it out evenly. So I'm just gonna dollop it. That way it's easy to spread. Oh, winter's been such a long, cold winter, even for us in Southeast Texas. So bringing out a nice, sunshiny looking dessert <laughs> is what we need to do. We got that. We're gonna layer Another package of graham crackers on top. We're going to put the rest of our mixture on top. Spread it out evenly. That's why you want to make sure that your pudding mixture is really thick so that you can blend that Cool Whip in. You don't want to lose the airiness of the, the pudding and the Cool Whip. Leave some in the bowl for a snack. You know, yeah. This dessert has to set up, so it's going to take some time. We're going to put two layers of the graham crackers on top of this pudding mixture. 
the one layer will absorb that pudding and then the other layer will absorb what we're gonna put on top. So stick around for that frosting that we're gonna make. Now the size of the box that I'm using is 14.4 ounce size. Then I had to get one more sleeve from another box. So that's how many you're gonna need. We're gonna go in with our second layer. All right, we've got our second layer on. Let's set this aside. We're gonna bring over a medium bowl and let's start making that frosting. We're gonna add one stick of butter, just half a cup. Bring it to room temperature, very, very soft. If you've just pulled it out of the refrigerator, you can put it in the microwave for just a few seconds and start warming it up. We're gonna add one cup of powdered sugar. I'm using a quarter cup, so I'm gonna be going in four times. We're gonna add in two tablespoons of milk. One, whoop, two, and then we're gonna go in with one tablespoon of lemon juice. Give it some lemon flavor. We're gonna take our electric hand mixer again. I just cleaned off the beaters and we're gonna blend this all together till it's nice and smooth. Nice and creamy. Now what we're gonna do is take our frosting and put it on top of our graham crackers. Again, I'm gonna dollop it all over. Oh, I'm using my favorite tool. This is an offset spatula. And let me tell you, when you're frosting something with this, it's amazing. It's like a magic trick. Let's smooth this out and hold on to the graham crackers while you smooth. Now this is gonna be a very thin layer, but it's gonna absorb into those graham crackers. Make it a delicious dessert. So I took some graham crackers and just put them in a little Ziploc bag and beat them till we got some crumbs. I'm gonna sprinkle them right on top. You just need about two of them. There we go, perfect. To everybody's dismay, <laughs> especially in my house. We're gonna cover this and we're gonna place it in the refrigerator for four hours. That way it will set up and we can get some delicious pieces out of this dessert because those graham crackers are gonna absorb all those layers. I'm gonna put my lid on that goes to my baking dish. I'll see y'all back here in a little bit. I've pulled this out of the refrigerator. It's been four hours. Can y'all see those layers? Look at that. That looks scrumptious. I'm gonna take a bite for you and give it a try. Mmm. Wow. Boy, that wakens up your winter, pushes it into springtime. Those graham crackers are nice and soft and it's absorbed that pudding, the lemon flavors. Wow. I hope you give this one a try. It's no bake, it's an ice box, it's delicious. Who wouldn't want to make one of these? And don't forget it can be found in my cookbook volume two. All right, you guys, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share it with family and friends. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and then make sure you hit that bell notification. That's for everyone. That way you'll be notified when recipes like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.